Alright, this is John Cole with OKRaw.com. Okay, Today we have another exciting episode for you, and I'm coming at you from the bathroom to share with you guys one of my most important things you guys should be doing in the bathroom. Go into the bathroom properly. Actually, just kidding. I already have a video on that. I'll put a link down below if you haven't seen that one. Definitely a good episode. Recommend you guys all to watch it. But another very important thing that you do in the bathroom is take a shower. So what we're going to talk about today is water. As you guys can see, I have some spring water here, and I know many of you guys drink only filtered water. And if you don't drink filtered water, I would highly encourage you to drink some kind of filtered water or some kind of you know well water, you know, wa not municipal water that has chlorine, even worse chloramines, and even worse fluorides added. And so you know we want to drink clean water. That's why many people buy bottled water or get filtered water and install a filter in their home, which I would recommend the most because that's most uh, you know. Uh, financially viable, it's going to be the cheapest and actually best for the environment in the long run because you know buying bottled water in plastic bottles is not good for the environment. Most of the plastic does not get recycled and you know why generate extra plastic and basically a lot of the waters these days actually they're just filtering municipal water and then selling it to you for like a lot of money. So buy, invest in a nice home drinking water filter. I like the reverse osmosis system in general makes really good water and uh, you know call it a day okay so that's with the drinking water we're not really going to get into drinking water today but what many people do not realize is that you know while you will not drink the tap water you're putting the tap water on you each and every day coming out of your shower head you know I've heard in one of the world wars you know they use basically chlorine gas to kill people and yet you're showering in chlorinated water each and every day and so it's the 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 chlorine in the water can dry out your hair dry out your skin and you know we want to filter the water because nowhere in nature would be we be like bathing in chlorinated water especially day after day year after year and actually some people that are very sensitive have you know skin reactions to the chlorine water and I've heard stories of people that have just simply put on a filter on their shower head and then you know some of their skin conditions clear up for example I gave my mom a shower filter one Christmas and she started using it the next time she went to her hairdresser her hairdresser said hey Jocelyn you know what new shampoo or conditioner are you using your hair is really soft she's like I didn't change anything except my son gave me a shower filter for Christmas and I started using it and it takes out you know some of the bad stuff in the water my my hair is softer, so if you want nicer skin, nicer hair, you definitely want to get a filter. Now there's many filters on the market, you know, if you just have chlorine in your water, then I would recommend what's called a KDF shower filter. They are available for very inexpensive at a big box stores such as Lowe's. They're about $20 at Lowe's at present time for a KDF shower filter made by Sprite. That's the one I'd recommend as a, just the basic one to get your water filtered. That only takes out the chlorine, which is probably one of the main things I'm concerned about. Uh, the challenge we're having here is that there's not just chlorine in the water, there's another thing that's even more insidious in my opinion and actually much harder to remove. I believe it actually should not be, be even added to the water system whatsoever. But the fact of the matter is it's in the water here and somehow we need to be able to filter it out. And that's called the chloramine. And chloramine is very difficult. If you do a search for like chloramine shower filter, you're going to come up with a few different things that are going to come up search results. You're going to come up with like a vitamin C shower filter that is said to take out the chlorine and the chloramine. I haven't seen any documented studies except people, you know, the manufacturer saying that the vitamin C converts it and all this kind of stuff. So it removes it and then people have testimonials that their skin's better afterwards. So that might work. You know, and then you see also like other filter filtration media such as, you know, catalytic carbon filters that remove the chloramine that in my opinion you know, are probably more effective and I would trust more than the vitamin C. And then there's even people saying some KDF filters or zeolites take out the chloramine. So then who do you trust? What do you buy? Well, you know. The price is all, all, all over the place. Cheap vitamin C filters could cost $30. Expensive ones could cost $60. Then, of course, you got to keep buying the replacement filters. You know, other chloramine filters 
could cost, I don't know, $100, $70, even more than that. And we have the manufacturer's claims that they're effective at chloramine, but we just don't really know for sure. So what I decided to do instead of buying some, some of these pre-made filter is make my own. So this is a DIY thing. If you're you know, not handy and you're scared of doing plumbing, then you might want to call a plumber or you know, a friend that's kind of handy that could do this for you. Uh, the parts that I'm going to share with you guys today are easily available at Amazon. I'm going to share with you guys the three different parts you need to have your own chloramine shower filter besides filtering chloramine. It's basically going to have drinking quality water in your shower. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we got here. Got the box from Amazon, and one of the things I like is the Amazon Prime. I'm a Prime member, so this came in two days. And you're simply going to need just a few parts. Uh, number one, you're going to need a little chrome plated brass nipple. This is a Schedule 40 half inch NPT by two inches in length. Uh, we're going to actually have to take out this little um, drop down bar and put this nipple in. We got it chrome plated so it's going to look cool. And the next thing we're going to need is the filter housing. So this filter housing is meant for like under sink water filters or whole house filters. But you can easily use this on your shower and that's just basically this uh, clear housing. So this is basically a, a standard water filter housing and I, got, I like the clear one so you can actually see through and kind of see what's going on in there. Pretty cool. You can also get them in solid colors. The most important thing you're going to want to get in the filter housing so that you don't have to use reducer uh, bushings is you want to get the half inch NPT thread on both sides. Uh, the, the little uh, chrome uh, piece was about $2. This was about approximately $20. And then finally uh, what's going to happen is you're going to open this guy up and in the inside you can put a standard uh, 10 inch filter cartridge. So then I've researched filter cartridges and the only ones I'd recommend for you guys to use to get out the chloramine is the um, catalytic carbon filters. Now there, there is granulated catalytic carbon filters and then there's also solid block filters. So, you know, sometimes they're used in aquariums because people know that have, they have aquariums they put in the, you know, uh, chloramine water that kills their fish. So uh, these are sold for aquarium use. And so I didn't really feel comfortable with the granulated carbon. I know the solid blocks are usually more effective. So I got one that is actually designed and by uh, Pent Air. It's from Pentec. It's actually called the Chlor Plus Carbon Block Filter Cartridge. And it's rated at one micron. It's rated for temperatures between 40 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's, you know, the, the shower temperature. Some filters may not be, you know, work in the, with, with hot water. And it says on here, reduces chloramine taste and odor, chlorine taste and odor, bad taste and odor, as well as sediment. And this is a NSF uh, certified component. So, I mean, this is basically designed for reducing the chloramine in the water. And, you know, I mean, this is basically made for just filtering water for drinking, not necessarily for showers, but we're going to adapt it to use in the shower. So that's what I got. Uh, I'm going to have to check out how long the lifespan of this is. That the other thing to remember is that, you know, the filter, is going to be more effective when you first put it in and as it goes on, as the filter gets used up, it catches more because the filter is pretty much like a sponge, right? All the holes in the sponge, you've got to get filled and once your sponge is totally saturated with water, it can't hold anymore until you wring it out. Well, uh, this filter block is solid carbon and when all the pores and whatever get full, uh, you know, number one, the flow is going to reduce and number two, it's not going to be as effective at filtering things out. And depending on how many showers you take, you may have to replace it more often or less often. Now, yes, one of these filters may last not as long as, you know, one of those shower filters made for the design purpose, but I believe this is going to filter to a much higher extent because these actually aren't made for just reducing the chloramine like in a shower. So, yeah, so the next step, super simple. We're just going to go ahead and take our canister here. And if you're wondering, I will put the links right down below this video. Uh, for the exact items at Amazon.com, so you could actually just order these if you want, you know. We're just going to put the filter or cartridge right in there. Super simple, super easy. We want to make sure the gaskets are in there. Uh, there's no top and bottom. You can put it on either way because what happens is uh, the water, this is a directional, so it says in and out. 
so the water comes in and goes up the side and then goes through the filter and then it gets filtered and then it comes out through the center and then out this side. So when you're putting it in, you want to make sure you put it in the right orientation. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and screw this guy in there. And one of the things, you, you, want to be, you don't want to be the muscle man and like crank this on super tight because you won't be able to get it off. But it, as long as you crank it, there's a rubber gasket in there. You want to make sure it's nice and uh, tight so that it actually just does not leak. The next thing we're going to do after we have this is we're going to take our little chrome bushing and take that out. And we're going to want to get some Teflon tape. This is available at a local hardware store. Amazon also probably sells this. This is actually the heavy duty stuff. It's uh, gray. Normally it comes in a white color and we're going to want to line uh, the threads on this little copper piece here with the Teflon tape. This will prevent you know, the water leaking between the threads. We're just going to wrap it around about four or five times. Uh, once on each of the sides with threads. All right. And then now, very important, make sure this nipple side goes on the inside, on, on the side that says in on the filter. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, screw that guy in there. And the other thing you may need is just a standard uh, wrench here. I'll call these a duckbill wrench. And we're just going to go ahead and tighten this guy up a little bit, spin it around a couple times. All right. Next step, we need to go over to the shower and uh, pull off this drop down. So once again, we're just going to go ahead and use our wrench or maybe we could just use my hand and just spin this guy off. Now, you will want to be careful. I will not be held responsible for damage to any, any of your plumbing <laughs> if you're doing this. So the goal was to remove this little nipple coming out of the wall and then actually just uh, put this back into the wall and then put this little drop down right here on the end but uh, unfortunately this thing is like stuck in there and I'm afraid that if I crank on it too hard to pull it out it's going to break something inside the wall in which case you're going to have to rip up the whole wall to fix it so I'm not willing to do that at this point so what we're going to do instead of putting the nipple on the end I'm going to go ahead and take this nipple out and this is just going to be the inlet right here we're going to put this in line. To me, this doesn't look as clean as having it like flush against the wall, but at least it's going to still filter the water. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this set up and come back at you and get this filter installed. All right, so now we're going to try that again. Uh, I'm only doing this because I can't remove that nipple here. Uh, either way will work, and it depends on what you'd like to do. So we're going to take, once again, this nipple. This time we're going to put on the out, out. And this is where the water comes out, where we're going to end up wanting to put our shower head. We're going to just thread this guy in there. Once again, we got the uh, Teflon tape on there. And very important, you're going to want to not cross thread this. So because you are going to plastic, you want to take your time and screw it in uh, slowly. And make sure your threads are all lined up. And go in a little bit uh, tight a little bit, but I don't believe we're cross threading it. I'm going to take the wrench and just uh, spin it around. Now, if you have to like spin it too hard, you're cross-threading it. That's not good. You're going to want to stop, take it apart, and make sure that you have the threads in properly. And, all right. So this is uh, going in pretty good. Get this tightened up a little bit more. All right. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and install this. Once again, it has to say in on the, the source of the input where the water is coming into the filter. And that's coming right here, so we're going to want to remove some of the old white Teflon tape that's on this fitting. And we're going to go ahead and wrap some new stuff around there. This ensures no leaks. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and just screw this baby on. Oh. <laughs> You could take the filter off. All right. And I like to have it uh, orientated up or oriented up. All right. Now we just got to replace the shower head and we'd be all done, but actually we're going to put a couple upgrades on the shower today too. All right, first upgrade, we got actually the Sprite 
KDF shower filter from Lowe's, $20. We're gonna put this on since we got it on the back end of this. This should already take out most everything, but in case something gets through. Then we got this guy, and uh, that just guy goes right in like this. Nice and tight, and then of course we're gonna to wanna to put some more uh, Teflon tape on these threads here. Next up we're, grade we got, we got a uh, shower head. And this is a special shower head. This is actually called a micro bubbler shower head. So it actually inserts oxygen into the bubbles as the water's coming out of you. It's said to help clean your pores better without using soap, whatnot. So we're gonna put that in there. The cool thing about adding this, because we've dropped this down so low, at least it gets, gets the uh, height of the shower a little bit higher and then uh, finally of course we got another spigot here and uh, we're just going to go ahead and put our standard shower head back on so now we got quite the contraption here the water comes out the wall goes through the chloramine shower filter then goes through the kdf shower filter then we can have it come out the hand um, held um, water to shower like all your private places and whatnot or you could have it cut out the front and there's a little selector on this little control to select you know the top or the bottom or actually both so you could actually have two streams of water getting blasted on you it's pretty nice i guess the next thing i want to go ahead and show you guys show you guys how it works i'm going to go ahead and turn this on i want to show you guys this uh, fill up because it's clear and you guys can see the water go up in there and then start to come out the front Alright, there you go. Now we got the water running through here. It's coming out the shower head there. We got 100% filtered water uh, thanks to Amazon.com. So yes, I mean one of the reasons why I also chose to do it this method, I mean this method cost me under $50 for all the three different parts. This is like 20, the filter was 20 approximately. And I was like uh, this little, you know, small chrome piece was like two bucks, under 50 bucks. You know, basically drinking water quality, uh, filtration in the shower. Now you guys know how to do it too, you know. I mean, I made a system like this for my own home, like, must have been like 10, 15 years ago before shower filters even were popular, to get even a, a higher level of filtration than just the standard shower filters will provide. So even if you don't have the chloramine, you might want to do this for your chlorine, you know, to remove that. But be aware, you will have to probably, you know, uh, replace that filter more often than you would, you know, one of these guys that are meant for a longer life because this is filtering down to a smaller particle size. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this episode, showing you guys how to do a DIY install, easy, easy to get parts, Amazon.com. So now you guys have learned how to order some simple off-the-shelf plumbing parts from Amazon.com. Uh, get it in two days if you got Amazon Prime so you can start showering in filtered water in your shower to remove that chlorine and other contaminants because this is a carbon block that will remove a lot more in addition to just the chloramine and chlorine. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I'll try to do some more DIY videos to let you guys know how you guys could live healthier, live cleaner, less toxic lives. And of course, you know, in the end, I always close out my videos. This is John Kohler with OKRaw.com and keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. Another great way to detox. Aloha, this is John Kohler with OKRod.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you, and this episode is about one of my favorite foods in the whole wide world. Like, they always ask you, if you're on a desert island, what one food 